Everything we talked about in the lead up to this game just came true in front of your own eyes. How these games go down in the back end, how there's, there's one mistake between the two sides. How you just got to keep getting off your ass and keep going to the line and keep getting on the wall and keep going there to do your defence. Some outstanding passages in that game. Some huge origin runs when we really needed them most. You know, we had a number of blokes go the whole distance tonight. 84 minutes in the state of origin game. Outstanding performances. Our two young wingers, first go in origin. Absolutely outstanding under the pressure. Our fullback, absolutely fucking outstanding. <coughs> you know, it's only game one. We've got to do it all again. <laughs> and so are they. And they'll be fucking ready too. So whilst we're happy with what we're doing, in life you've got to handle triumph and you've got to handle disaster. We had a little bit of disaster in the early of the week and we handled it well. We got here tonight committed. We got here tonight and played for our fans and we did a great job. And you're to be credit, congratulated for that. We handled our disaster. Now let's handle our triumph well too. All right? Let's handle the fact we've won. Let's go away and work on our game. Look where we could have won it by better. Look where we could have lost it. And make sure we come back a better team in game two. Make sure you come back a better player. Now that you've been through it and you've seen where it is, doing something you're not renowned for. Now, last week I said to Sean Timmons, when Mick Yavir wasn't in the side, I said, we needed a second goal kick. I said to Sean Timmons, you can kick, kick goals, you can kick goals if we have to. He said, I had a shot five years ago from in front and I duffed it to win the game. He said, I haven't had a kick since. I haven't had a kick since. There's two types of players when it gets down to the back end and the result's in the balance. There's two types of players. There's those that want the ball and those that don't want the ball. And here's a bloke that's got demons in his head over kicking for goal and missing it to win the game for his team that in the 84th minute says, shot it to me. And he stands up and does something he's not renowned for. Isn't that what Origin's all about? We fucking nailed it. And we're the winners. That's what Origin's all about. Some of us did some really courageous things out there. I watched his like walks. And I'm really proud of him. really fucking proud of him. And we can only get better. Three cheers for us. And with all the Origin teams that I ever coached for New South Wales, I gave them the same message every time they left the dressing room just before kickoff. Trust yourself. Trust your teammates. Believe in yourself. Believe in your teammates. When you see it, do it. And when you do it, do it 100 mile an hour. No fear, no hesitation. These two teams have been in camp together for a week now. They've made promises. They're going to be with each other every step of the way. When these teams take the field tonight, they really will be brothers in arms. I'll tell you what, Peter, the crowd down here is starting to find its voice. Five young players make their debut for New South Wales tonight. In the lead up to the game, they've received a lot of encouragement, a lot of support. You know, the team has tried to shield them away from the media and the hype, but when they run out here tonight, there's no shielding anyone. There's nowhere to hide in origin. It's a man's game. They've been picked to do a man's job, and they've got to stand up. I think they're up to the challenge. We know that this game will be decided at the back end. We know that Queensland will be there. It's whether or not the young New South Wales players will believe in themselves at that stage of the game. I've got no doubt this will go down to the wire. This is the greatest challenge any footballer can face, particularly here in Brisbane at Suncorp Stadium. And I know what you're saying. When you get out there, it's just another game of football. It's just another ground. Well, let me tell you it's not. And I'll give you the perfect demonstration. Come and meet my friends, the Queenslanders, over here. Have a look at this. Beautiful one day, state of origin the next. Thank you, Peter. I want to talk about Queensland. 11 attempts at Telstra Stadium, zero wins. They say they can break the hoodoo tonight, but the first rule of breaking a hoodoo is don't talk about the hoodoo. I think it's eating away at their brains. They just don't like playing here. They don't like the bus ride here in peak hour traffic. It can take up to an hour. They don't like the dressing rooms. It doesn't feel like home. They don't like sitting amongst the New South Wales fans before the game. They don't like the cold. It's going to get down to about three degrees here tonight. Not even the beer in Queensland is that cold. And the surface, it's wet, it's moist. They can't get this back line into operation the way they would like. And New South Wales needs to play on the slippery conditions here tonight. Their kicking game is very, very important. Very disappointing in game one with a kicking game. I couldn't account the number of times that we kicked downfield and Queensland caught the ball on the full. Carmichael Hunt, Brett Tate, Greg Inglis were just charging the ball back at New South Wales, getting the Queensland fans all excited. 
Now New South Wales tonight, Brett Kamali, he's got to kick along the ground, get it down into the corners, so the Blues chasers can get these Blues fans up on their feet and cheering for them. And this is the biggest weapon that New South Wales is here tonight. It's the fans. It's playing at home in front of your own colours. I know how much they love it. I know how much it means to them. And you people sitting at home, I know you've got a great seat, but once in your life, come to Telstra Stadium under the lights and experience Origin football at its absolute best. And when you come along, just wait a minute. When you come along, dress in blue, because otherwise you won't be in the lap. of Origin games played here in Brisbane are quite different to anywhere else Origin has played throughout this country. And tonight I think even more so. I would like to dedicate this final last word to the memory of the great Arthur Beetson. Arthur's contribution to this phenomenon called State of Origin should never be forgotten. Back in 1980, when they played that first game, many thought it would be a gimmick. They said it wouldn't work. They said it certainly wouldn't last. But when Arthur Beetson ran out onto Lang Park in a maroon jersey to captain his state for the first time, he just knew something special was going to happen. History shows us that Beetson inspired a band of young Queenslanders to defeat their more illustrious New South Wales rivals. And on that night, the spirit of origin was born. Here we are over three decades later, and we still celebrate this tremendous rivalry. Arthur Beetson was a great man. He was one we all loved. I have to say that his contribution here is one that we owe a great debt of gratitude to the player, to the character and the man that was Arthur Beetson. Arthur passed away in the off-season. This is the first origin played in Queensland since that time. And I have to say, as I stand down in the middle of this stadium, I can feel his presence here tonight. You know he'll be watching and I know he'll be proud of the concept that he helped create. Let's enjoy it with him. Enjoy your Origin football. The last word, the return of an Origin tradition. Here's, here's Phil Gould out on the field. Thank you, Cameron. We're often told that if we ignore history, we are doomed to repeat it. And certainly if we look at the history of the past seven years, it would suggest if these two teams play to their best tonight, then Queensland, in all likelihood, will prevail. They are the proven ones. They are indeed a champion team. But that's the beauty of sport. This result is not yet carved in stone. The New South Wales Blues will have their say. When the Blues players are handed their jersey tonight, they're not just given something to wear. They are also given a slice of history. They're given an opportunity to create their own history. They're given an invitation to be extraordinary. To beat Queensland tonight, they will need inspiration. And the best place to get that inspiration is from each other, out here on the field in battle. Inspire each other with your effort. Inspire each other with your courage. Inspire each other with your will to win. So there it is for New South Wales tonight. Their destiny is not so much in their own hands, but their destiny could well be decided by what's in their own hearts. Enjoy your origin football. Thank you, James. I want to talk about bravery. In these final moments in the dressing room, these players are at their most nervous. Now, especially for the rookie players. They may have watched Origin on TV, but it's about to hit them in the face. And there's no doubt that they'll start to have insecurities. Do I deserve to be here? What will it really be like? Will I be good enough? It's fear of the unknown that starts to grab them. For the players that have been here before, it's fear of the known. They've already experienced what origin mentality and physicality is like. They know they need to get back to this level every time and steal themselves. And that's not easy when you know how much it's going to hurt. There was a passage I read in the Game of Thrones many years ago, a conversation between a father and his son. The son asked the question, is it possible for a man to still be considered brave when on the inside he's truly afraid? To which his father replied, when you're truly afraid, that's the only time a man can be brave. And that's what you'll see tonight. Nerves, insecurity, fear. It will give way to courage and bravery. 
It'll give way to the commitment you have to your teammates and your state. It'll give way to the commitment you have to do whatever's necessary to win. Why? Because that's what Origin players do. And above all else, these boys want to be Origin players. Let's cheer on these brave souls and let's hope they can be Origin players tonight. Enjoy your football. Welcome back to the Telstra Stadium on a night when New South Wales have wrapped up State of Origin for 2004. And the New South Wales coach, Phil Gould, has collected his sixth series win, the most successful coach in Origin history. I could ask about the life and times of Phil Gould. You could almost say the strife and times of Phil Gould. The famous sporting question is, how do you feel, Gus? How do you feel? I feel very proud, mate. Uh, very, very proud. Origin's been a very special part of my life. But particularly for this bunch of players, and right at the top, I want to thank all those players who played in Game 1 and Game 2 that weren't with us tonight. I said at the start of the series, this would be a tough series. We'd use a lot of players. Uh, but in my own heart, I knew come Game 3, we had the blokes that could do the job. And I knew once Freddie had got one under his belt in Game 2, I thought that was important before he came back here to Telstra. Uh, for this third game, and it's all worked out perfectly. Phil, I can't imagine, without knowing the ins and outs of your game plan tonight, of the New South Wales game plan tonight, that the players haven't met every single requirement you set out for them? No, they did it perfectly. They really did. Um, there were some things we learnt from Game 1 into Game 2, and from Game 2 to Game 3, there was a massive improvement, even though we made six changes. And, and the fellas who came into the side, I knew, were the ones that we needed uh, to implement those changes, and, and they did. Some of these fellas here... I, I've been buying the programs every week, hoping they're making their comeback. I mean, if Ben Kennedy never had a game for two years and he said he was right for tonight, I'd have picked him in the side. He's just an Origin player. Jason Riles, you know, the Gaznier and Cooper have been dying to get them into Origin for some time. And that's nothing against the other blokes who played. They've done their job. Uh, but these are players of the future. Now, on the emotion of Phil Gould tonight on the sideline, uh, how do you keep making decisions in that situation? It was an emotional night. You're out there. You're feeling something for Brad. It's your last game as coach. Those sort of factors have to come into it. Mate, I, I, I was surprisingly calm, I really was. Um, I was very confident when I got here tonight and I was super confident at half time and I just wanted to get swept up in the emotion of it and the crowd were turned sensational. 80,000 people here and, you know, I knew we had them. I knew we were going to play the football and, uh, you know, it was, it was a tussle there for the first half. Uh, Queensland were doing what they do well. But I just got the feeling that once we got the first one, the dam had broke and it broke. It's now six series wins. For Phil Gould, it is a record of 14 wins, nine losses, one draw. Is that it? Is that all we're going to see of Phil Gould coaching? Is this the last night, the last match you will ever coach in rugby league? Yeah, it is. It is. You know, it, it, you know, I can be proud of that record forever. And uh, I'm very proud of the people and supporting the people that have supported me over the years. Mum and Dad, they're at home. They'll be loving this. Uh, they've, they've done it tough because they know as well as I do. We get a lot of criticism in the media and a lot of unfair criticism. Um, a lot of it we bring on ourselves, but you know, a lot of it's very unwarranted from people that I think struggle with their own insecurity and struggle with their own lack of knowledge. And uh, they struggle in the fact they get intimidated sometimes by people that, that won't bow to them. Um, and we're never going to be like that. Um, you know, I love my time with the Roosters. I love my work with Channel 9 and, and working with the Sun Herald. And uh, you know, my wife's here tonight, June, and my three kids are at home. Brooke, Jack and Abby, they'll be at Grandma's place. They'll be happy. And, uh, you know, it's the love and support of your family that makes all this worthwhile. And I can put up with the other stuff. And to see these players, these young players come through, live out their dreams in origin, play this sort of football, and to see, you know, the bloke I love the most, Brad Fittler, be a part of this tonight, it's very special for me. And I can walk away from this and get on the rest of my life. I'm going to let you walk away and join your teammates. Phil, congratulations. Thanks for giving us so much of your time through the origin series as well. Enjoy yeah. tonight, mate. Thank well you done. Thank very much, Russell. Good night. Phil Gould. Yes, as usual, calling it the way he sees it, Phil Gould. Love or hate him, there's never been any doubt about his passion for coaching New South Wales and the game of rugby league. And there he goes up the tunnel for the last time. This time he left it a little bit later.